So I don't have anything really formal to share today, but I did want to kind of go through the projects that we completed last year. Uh, we'll quickly into the projects that are upcoming for next year. So last year we were busy with infrastructure. Uh, we did a warehouse distribution, uh, or a distribution warehouse. Uh, we did an additional ballroom down here. We remodeled the Tower One. So we completed a, a $6 million remodel in almost seven months that it took us. So if you haven't had a chance to see that, we're gonna have some slides of that here in momentarily. Uh, we've added some much needed storage to our event center, about 5,000 square feet. Uh, we completed a LED conversion to our lighting project, saving us nearly $30,000 a month in power needs. Uh, we've done, and you can see the work that's still going on in the parking lot cleanup. Sorry, I'm very congested. Uh, uh, parking lot cleanup and relighting the structures or the uh, parking lot. We've had some challenges. I don't know if you face the same challenges with homeless traffic, with drug use, with theft. Um, so part of that project here is we have an increased presence with our security force. We have increased patrols in our parking lots. Um, and we've also had additional surveillance coverage added along with lighting, uh, both interior and exterior. So making it uh, harder to have this kind of behavior. So, but it's something we still struggle with and I, I'm pretty sure that most of you do as well. So now let me uh, put some slides up. Well, here is the before and afters of the room. I don't know how well you can see that. I know it's a kind of small, hopefully we've got some larger pictures. So there you go. So we took the opportunity uh, with the spa room suites to, oh, thank you very much. So you can see we've actually made it into more of a family suite, um, adding fireplaces, adding couches, adding um, uh, entertainment centers where you have like gaming tables. Uh, you can see this is a normal king. It was very dark, you know, very uh, saturated tones, uh, very much, uh, kind of what everybody did here in the last 10 years, kind of that northwest feel. So we wanted to do something with much uh, bolder, more creative, uh, something that's more contemporary. We really wanted it something that you wouldn't see in your own homes. So something that was unique to us. Uh, one of my favorite features is the uh, representation of the canoes on the walls, or the beds, um, and then the bathroom. Uh, we. We vastly expanded the bathroom and then the new remodel. That was what the expense actually was for. So, as you can see, much brighter, much cleaner. Uh, we also, one of the troubles that we were having was people were uh, sometimes loitering, using our Wi Fi, sitting in the elevator, um, elevator lobbies on the uh, fifth floor, fourth floor, third floor. And so in order to combat that, we said, you know, this is really a lot of space. It's a lot of furniture, too. Um, but we could utilize that. So what we did is we actually cut into those lobbies and extended the rooms um, by almost 10 feet. And so creating this uh, additional space onto that suite that was already large, and that way we have, you can see the four, four seats on the table. Now we have a family suite where you can actually have um, you know, television entertainment, you have card games. Um, some people like to party here. No. <laughs> so this would be your room. This, this is the one that you'd want to for a party. So it also has a big spa suite. So, hot tub included. It's a good look at the bathroom. You know, before when you entered in, it was really kind of a closet. And then you'd walk further in, there was a door, and then you would have the commode. and. But, uh, so what we did is we actually opened up that entire area. And so making it feel much bigger than used like a barn door uh, to close off that from the rest of the suite so you get a much more open feel. We also, you can see we have a walk-in shower with a barn door uh, detail as well. That shower is now nearly a foot larger, or a foot wider, another foot longer. And so giving you much more space. 
So I don't know why you need that much space unless you have multiple people in there. Uh, that happens too. Uh, that looks like our slides for that. Thank you for putting that together, Heidi. Uh, little jumbled this morning. Uh, you know, I just uh, real quickly want to go over what we're doing this year currently. And by this year, I'm hoping to have these projects done by February, with the exception of the remodel of the second tower. So the second tower will be remodeled, but it's gonna be on a slower, state, slower pace. You know, last year we just shut the tower down and got it done because it was that old. Um, well, the second tower was done, it should have been remodeled probably six years ago. So we've gotta go in and do the second tower as well. However, we're gonna do that in blocks of eight rooms at a time, shutting a floor down at a time so that we can keep the rest of the hotel in operation. We just need those rooms because we've already got contracts for conventions, for stays, so. But we will get it done. One of the things that we're kind of excited about, and this is me getting geeky, um, we have a very large system of retention ponds out here because of the size of our parking lots. And so in order to capture that water, filter back down, get it back into the aquifer, um, what we're gonna do with our largest one is we're actually gonna clean it out, we're gonna line it, and then we're gonna cover it back up with a thin layer of soil, creating a water feature. Um, along with that water feature on the back side of it is gonna be our new administration center. So what we call affectionately our gravel parking lot up here, we're actually gonna have a new office building for our staff. I don't know about you guys, but uh, you know, I've jokingly told people in finance that they should consider bunk desks. Because they're just, you know, they're just, you know, we've converted most of our office space, I should say, we've converted most of our closets into office space. And so we call them clothices. Uh, one of the things that we've put off for far too long, and now that we're making infrastructure gains, uh, that we're gonna do this year, and we're very excited to do this, and so is Victor, is we're gonna come in and remodel our kitchens. And so that's a tough expense, it's an expensive remodel, but it's something we have to do. It's just they're, they're far outdated. We've got, again, guys climbing on each other. You ought to see them when they're prepping for multiple events. Um, they manage to stay out of each other's way, but I walk in there and I can't get out of their way. Um, doesn't look like we had the model. One of the things we have designed for this year, hopefully we can break ground, maybe April of next year. <coughs> We're gonna do a 12,000 square foot expansion of the main casino floor, and then remodel the casino floor as well. What that allow me to do is I can move Kino, I can move poker downstairs. That opens up those ballrooms for remodel up there. Uh, it allows me to put an additional 200 slot machines on the floor. Um, that allows me to empty the mezzanine uh, that where the escalators go up off the main casino floor. There's a upper uh, second story. That's gonna become a nightclub. Once that opens up, then I can come back in and remodel the, uh, what is currently Starlight will be renamed. The nightclub will be Starlight. And we'll come back and remodel this one as a, what we're considering a brew pub, a sports bar downstairs. So those are the projects we're involved with this year. The other thing that I think that um, you might be interested in more in a, a logistical sense that we're working with, we're working with waste management companies, uh, working with recyclers. We're trying to streamline the process of, of reclaiming the products that we use and becoming much more sensitive to the environment with our packaging, with our garbage, with our cardboard, with our with our glass. So these are projects that we're working on this year as well. So, and they're not cheap, as I'm sure you all know. I think that's it, unless you have any questions. Okay.